Today we are back with a homeowner series on the Nebraska Lands USA map. We will be going on a camping trip. We'll be heading out of town here for the week to a brand new campground. It's a few hours away. It's a pretty big one. They do have a pond for fishing and they do have some pretty big areas to have some fun. We will be heading out in the 2020 Duramax with a toy hauler and the Polaris. And then the second trip out, which will be for the Ford Raptor and the Bass Boat. I do want to grab a, a few last things inside the house and check up on the chickens and diesel really quickly. I'm really excited to be back here camping. We haven't done camping in quite a number of weeks, and it's nice to be back. Let's come over here to the PC, get it turned off. We got that turned off here. Just do a quick check here in the house, making sure everything is uh, off and everything's good for the week. Everything inside looks to be good. Let's head outside and give Diesel uh, a bowl of food. Now, we do have a dog walker come by a few times a day to give him the food and check up on the chickens. All right, bye, Diesel. Have a great week, and we'll catch you at the end of the week. Now, late yesterday, I did pull out the toy hauler, and I did put a lot of things in it. I actually went food shopping, filled up the fridge, and a few other things. We uh, The chickens are all good for the week, and uh, we do have a few people stopping by just to make sure the house is okay. But we are taking this. I already do have the players on the inside. I'm not sure can uh, we kind of look inside it. We do have collisions, but there we go. We got the players in here. That is so cool that we have. It fits pretty well. You guys can see the uh, beds fold up, and that one uh, slides up there. So that's pretty cool that we do a fully working toy hauler. Let's hop in the Duramax and let's head on out. I hope everyone's having a fantastic day so far. My day has been a bit busy. I have had a few uh, quizzes and tests with a uh, school, but lately uh, I'm very excited to be here recording videos. I can't wait to see how the Raptor does on kind of a long drive. Uh, haul with the bass boat it's not too heavy but the Duramax should be good as well over the last few weeks I've gotten a number of requests as well for some camping videos and I do want to do a lot more of these especially with uh, spring and summer just around the corner uh, we will be doing a lot of fun uh, trips and maybe possibly uh, trying to find a local campgrounds where we could keep a, the toy hauler at for the season. I can't wait to take the bass boat out for the first time on that little pond, little lake area, and see if we could catch any fish. But it looks like we got the uh, 2020 all set up. Uh, the toy hauler is sitting pretty a level as well, which is good. When we leave with the Ford Raptor, we'll make sure all the doors are locked, the garage doors are closed, and the gate here is locked. I really do enjoy camping. It's a lot of fun, especially when we do get to bring a few toys with us, uh, like the players in the bass boat. And this will be one of our first times really getting to use uh, this new toy hauler as well. This setup here looks so cool. Really do like the matching white uh, Duramax with uh, the hauler. On the way out with the Raptor, I think we'll stop by the gas station, grab a few snacks, and top that off. Uh, since when I did check it late last night, uh, it was close to empty. If you do have any cool video recommendations for me, please let me know down below. I really do enjoy using your ideas to make awesome videos. This summer we will be making some big changes here to the channel, which I'm pretty excited for, and I will probably be revealing those early summer. 
this is a pretty wide toy hauler. It's a little bit wider than uh, what the uh, usual ones are, but this thing looks so cool going down the road. Luckily, we do have the tow mirrors, uh, which are awesome, and we can see the tall trees there in the distance. That's actually where our campground is. The Duramax is such a great truck for long haul drives. Really do like it. Very comfortable. And we got to slow down here for this little bump. If we were to take this, I'm not sure if the back trailer or even the truck wheels uh, would get a little bit of air. But this is a brand new campground. So they ha t removed a few trees from it. And uh, so far, it looks pretty good from the uh, outside. Not too many uh, people are here, though, uh, today. And let's turn on in. Wow, pretty nice area, and you guys can see it's a pretty uh, nice, uh, kind of decent sized pond, and we will be taking the uh, bass boat in there, but I actually kind of want to get camped up right about here, right at the center of it. I actually really do like this spot here, so I actually do want to get uh, the uh, players out, and then uh, we can kind of get the Duramax uh, disconnected, because we have to put down the stabilizers on all four corners uh, to make sure it's level. And we'll get the players unloaded here. Now, I am working on uh, getting this back uh, gate to open. That will be the next upgrade here. But I do want to get a few more uh, toy haulers as well, just to kind of add uh, and to have different ones. But we do already have the steps. Now, it would be pretty cool to kind of have a folding canopy on it. Uh, but there we go. We got the Duramax parked up here. We'll kind of lock that up. And we'll just move the players in front. Right about here seems to be good. And we are back here at the house to make the final trip. Let's hop here in the Ford Raptor, get this boat, and lock up the house. Now the Ford Raptor here is rated to tow just under 6,000 pounds. I think the boat with the trailer is probably uh, 3,000 pounds at most. It's a pretty light uh, one, so I don't think we'll have a problem, but this Raptor is awesome uh, especially going down the road it's very comfortable because of the off-road suspension Now, for the boat trailer, I did decide to go with the tandem axle. I much prefer it over the single axle. It's a smoother ride for the boat, and it's actually easier to kind of get backed in. So we'll kind of walk up there, and we'll just kind of go. We do want to walk up the detached car uh, garage door. I usually leave that unlocked. We'll do the front door, and then I think that's really all we have to do. Awesome, we got that door locked up here. Let's go around and get the front. And perfect, we got that. Now we do have cameras on the house as well, which is good uh, for the uh, added security. And we are going to be uh, throwing an extra chain and lock on this gate. That way uh, nothing can come and go from the property. I really do like having these gates though. They look pretty cool. And we'll do that. Finally, we'll just check the mail. It looks like no mail, which is good. And we are actually holding up traffic here. It looks like they just didn't want to go around us. Now, for my farming simulator videos, I actually use a controller. And I really do recommend it to those that do play on PC. It's a very fluent and it's just overall perfect for steering, for loader arms, things like that. And I much prefer it. And what side's it on? It's on this side here. And actually, we'll top off the Raptor in the bass boat. I don't think it uh, is really filled up there, so we'll fill it up. And that's full. Let's go on to the bass boat. And that's filled up there. Uh, really quickly, let's just grab a few uh, bags of uh, chips and a few drinks. There we go. And let's head on out. Now I did bring, uh, bring some fishing rods with us and I also uh, did buy some bait last night so we should be good to go for fishing as well. 
This 3.5 liter turbo is one awesome engine, although I would much prefer a big V8 in the Raptor. Maybe with the uh, new generation coming out, that would be awesome. But uh, so far, uh, the 3.5 is uh, good. It's a little bit sporty, I will have to say, with just how kind of fast the truck is. We'll slow down here. It looks like a little kind of stream, uh, but this little uh, bump definitely at a high speed could cause uh, the boat to possibly break loose. And if you guys have not already, I do recommend you go give me a follow over on Instagram. I do post every single day sneak peeks. So many cool things over there that you do not want to miss. Let's get the bass boat uh, backed in here, and we'll just kind of kind of beach the front of the boat, and I think that we should be good there. Perfect. Look at that. A very nice boat ramp. I will have to say that the uh, developers did a pretty good job on uh, this little area. Now, it would be nice to bring the kayaks out and a few other things, which would be good. Perfect. We kind of beached it there, doing a rope to this tree. Awesome, so we won't have any problems in. I really don't expect it to really be moving around here on us. But there we go, guys. And we'll just kind of park the Raptor here. So the campgrounds is all set up here for the entire week. We will be having lots of fun here. But before we get going, uh, let's hop here in the players and just kind of cruise around. And then we'll open it up once we kind of learn the area. So it looks like this is kind of in the middle of, of farm country here with uh, farm fields all around it and uh, it's a pretty nice flat area. Now it's time to open it up here since we kind of uh, went around the entire area. This upcoming summer, one of my goals is to do some multiplayer videos, have more people come in game and just have a lot of fun, especially with camping. I think that would be a pretty uh, cool thing to do. And you guys can see just back and forth, really uh, just having a good time here with it. And it looks like a collision on the tire kind of caught uh, the tree there for a moment. Awesome, so that was pretty fun there. Let's hop in the bass boat and we'll spend three, four hours out here on this little pond, see if we could catch fish. I really uh, just like being out on boats. It's a ton of fun, especially uh, fishing is a great time. We'll go out here to center, perfect. And let's see if we can catch a fish. And look at that, guys. We caught one, uh, one foot bass. Uh, that is pretty good. Though. Let's throw it line in over here. And we just caught a six uh, inch bass, which is good. Let's see if we get one more and then we'll call it a day. Let's actually try it from this back area. And we got a few bites there. Oh, we lost the fish. Another throw in, and we caught another 7-inch bass, uh, which is pretty awesome there. So that's pretty much uh, for uh, today's camping video. We'll be doing a lot of fun stuff, probably exploring, maybe going hiking uh, soon as well. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, Camping with a Homeowner Series. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one, and subscribe for more.